Matt Brown is set to face Carlos... Con Where the hell is he anyways? There he is. Matt Brown is set to face Carlos Condit in, uh, in just a few days, actually. This coming Saturday. I mean, we get the UFC back, which is very exciting. I mean, it's been a long time since we had a UFC fight, and I'm really looking forward to that. Of course, the main event, training only. I guess this is this man's training account. Um... The main event of, I mean, the main, uh, yeah, the main event is Max Holloway versus Calvin Catered, which is going to be like a beautiful showcase of, of boxing. But um, let's see what we can do here. We are facing Usman with uh, Matt Brown, which is, I mean, this matchup right here is, I mean, it has a potential of being a nightmare depending on how my opponent fights. But basically, anytime you see the... 2,000 point fighter picking a grappler. Yep, there you go. Just basically... Uh-huh. Ex expect to have your... Expect to have your butthole sniffed real nice. You know, for five rounds. And that's that's es essentially what I'm ready for right now. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pressure him just to maybe see if I can force the shots. But, you see, he, he's he's not shooting. He's, he's more... Uh, there's a shot. Take down Bale. Uh-huh. Nope. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. This is going to be a... It's going to be a long night. I get rocked. Careful with that. I'm trying to keep my head moving. No. I'm trying to keep my head moving. There's a clinch. I mean, I suppose it's realistic because if Usman was to fight Matt Brown, I guess this is what Usman would do. He would take him down repeatedly or try to grapple him over and over again. So let's just uh, let's just deal with it, man. He gets the takedown. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's an uphill battle right here. It's going to be very difficult to stop him from taking me down over and over again but uh we'll do our best here denies that one probably a pre-deny next time he's most likely there we go he's most likely going to expect me to go the, to the opposite direction so we'll go the same exact direction the same direction there we go yeah, he's pre-denying. Like he he I'm just, I'm just glad that, in, you know, Carlos Condit is going to be fighting someone that's not going to look to, because I feel like Carlos Condit just, what he deals with, a lot of times when he's fighting is like, like there was like a stretch of time where they were putting Carlos Condit in there with all these grapplers, man, and it's like, you know. It's it's up to him, you know. It's up to him. He he is a mixed martial artist, so it is up to him to work on his takedown defense, work on his grappling enough to be able to stop these guys. But then after a while, it just seemed like a major disservice to, to who Carlos Condit is. You know, Carlos Condit is he's a striker that does that does really really well in uh, in five round fights, and, and yet they kept putting him in in there. In three-round fights against grapplers who would just, you know, hold him down for the first... I want to rock this guy. At Sit down. The this is what I'm trying to do. See if I can keep him against the cage. Keep him, do you know, playing. Stay away from me striking. Which is, you know, what most of them do anyways. Like, a lot of these guys... Do yeah, a lot of these guys just... You know, they, they can't strike their way out of a wet paper bag for the most part. <clears throat> but um so yeah you know it's with carlos they they kept putting him in in there against these grapplers who he got it who would just hold him down for like three three whole entire rounds 
And then when they start getting tired, the fight is over. But this next one I'm happy about because, you know, he will be fighting Matt Brown. And uh, the Immortal one, I mean, occasionally he will go for a takedown, but that's not really his style. I mean, he wants to stand and go for it. And I'm really hoping that, you know, Carlos is finally going to get another really good fight that allows him to showcase what he's good at. Same for Matt Brown, you know. Denies it. Off guard. Yeah, man, I find myself on the bottom so many times these days, man. It's just... Silver Linen is, you know, oh, we got him. Silver Linen is, you know, gives you a chance to, uh, just gives you a chance to practice being there. I would like to posture up and get up, but my guess is, yeah, he's not going to let me. Yep. Posture's up. Tease off a little bit there. Nice to nine. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA. There we go. In terms of making sure that every strike counts. Postures up. There we go. Usually he will start with like a with a straight punch for the most part. That's what he does. He wants you to feel it. Starting to learn how to read these patterns. Backside. I don't know if that's a contextual transition right there. Well, no, because, I mean, it was a full transition, but the way that backside just worked, very interesting. Anyways, I definitely won the second round. We got the knockdown. I don't know if I'm going to be able to rock him again, but that's really all I can do at this point because... Sit him down. It's just, you strike with me for any period of time, this fight's going to be done. I mean, like, yeah. You better start shooting. You better start shooting. <sighs> Doesn't smell too bad. Doesn't smell too bad. Nice away from that Nigerian butthole. Mm. Rocked him again. There it is. There it is. Boom. Denied. Alright, we're gonna go sprawl. We should be able to. I'm good. I'm good. He's one of the better Brown and Powell fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Alright, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Brown. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Throws the right hand there. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA. Mm -hmm. Posture's up. He gets up. Only to clinch me. All right. I guess logic has left the chat. Back on the ground. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. I mean, over 
and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, he's got the great oh my god, I think it's over. Yeah. Ten to go. I thought he was going to finish me right there. That's a very dangerous ground and pound position. If you find yourself in backside like that and they're postured up, raining down blows, it's very difficult to to figure out where the shots are going. <laughs> Respect what? It's very difficult to figure out where the shots are going from that position. So a lot of times when you know when when you're there, the fight just ends very abruptly. Especially if your head health is already really low. Yeah. that one I don't even know why I went for half guard right there I should have just yeah I think let's see if we can get out of this yeah it's done it's over Good fight, I guess. Good fight. That was very entertaining. Use Matt Brown, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I think I'm just going to end it right here, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Um, just for my own just for my own sanity. Because it, it, I can feel it in the air. I, I can. There's just sometimes that you can just tell that if you keep playing you know trying to use a specific character that you you're just gonna keep running into like a specific type of player and i i can i can sense it so we'll just leave it at this um yeah there it is there it is matt brown the immortal fighter showcase one of the shortest fighter showcases i've ever done usually i try to do at least four fights but we're just gonna leave it at this um if you guys enjoyed the video, <laughs> you know, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. You know, it is what it is. Let me know in the comment section who you guys think is going to win the actual fight. Like I said, I'm really happy that it's two guys that will most likely, you know, contest this thing on the feet. I think it's going to be a very good fight. But that's it, man. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys later with a brand new video. As, whoo, so many points lost. I'll see you guys later. Stay safe.